Hi, my name is Naveen. In this video, we will see about resource requests and limits. Once we deploy a pod in a cluster, the scheduler will look for a node with sufficient resources. And once it finds, it will place a pod on it. But there is no limitation on how much CPU or memory the pod will consume. And if for any reason if the pod starts consuming more CPU or memory on the node, then the scheduler may not be able to place new pods or even the node itself may crash. This issue can easily be fixed using the resource requests and limits. Kubernetes allow us to specify two different resource metrics in the manifest file at container level. One is requests and the other is limits. Resource requests specify the minimum amount and resource limits specify the maximum amount of resource that a container can use within a pod. And this is achieved using the C groups. kubectl will communicate with a container engine and then the container engine will communicate with the Linux kernel to set the resource limits for CPU and memory using C groups. For this demo, I will be using Google Cloud and all the documentation can be found in the kubernetes.io website. Now let's see how these metrics are defined in the manifest file. So this is the manifest file for pod app1 under this the name of the container is app1 and image is nginx. Now under the resources I will define the metrics, limits and resources. Under requests, we will be giving CPU and memory details. CPU details are given in the form of milli CPUs and memory in the form of maybe bytes, key B bytes or GB bytes. So if you want to allocate one core of CPU to this particular container, then we have to give 1000 milli CPUs or we can mention one here. Now let's create a pod from this file. Here we can see the limit and requests are set for 500 milli CPUs as the maximum amount supported and 500 MB bytes is the maximum memory supported. In the cluster I have two worker nodes and I have disabled scheduling on the second worker node. Let's create few more pods and see what happens once the limit is reached. I have created few more ML files with the requests and limits details already mentioned in it. Let's create pod from these files. So pod app1, app2 and app3 are running. I'll create one more pod. We can see app 4 is pending. Now let's see the details of it. We can see the message here insufficient CPU. Now let's see how to define a resource requests and limits in a multi container pod. It's the same process. I'll create a new image.
Here I have defined the requests and limits for both the containers. Let's create a pod from this file. Here if you see this is the requests and limits for container 2 and this is the requests and limits for container 1. From CKID exam point of view this is a simple concept. We need to know how to set the limits and requests under each container. It may be a single or multi container pod. If you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel me Ali. Thank you and see you in the next one.